Hi, it's Dave from A Lion in the Desert, and this is my Cervelo S2. Alright, so one of the things I want to accomplish with this new project is to do a lot of product reviews. Uh, I ride in a lot of group rides here in Scottsdale. Some people have some pretty cool bikes that I hope to show you. But more than just showing you their bikes, I want to kind of dig into what are the things they like and or dislike, probably more importantly dislike, about their bikes. So I figure what better way to start that project than by showing you my bike and telling you a little bit about the things that I like and dislike about it. So let's go. Alright, so this is my 2010 Cervelo S2. Uh, you can see it's got the 010 paint job on there, the white and uh, red trim with the black lettering, which I really like. Uh, I thought this was a really great change for Cervelo. Something, you know, really different. Pretty stock uh, bike here. I'll zoom in on some of the components. Um, you know, the physique seat, it's got Altegra components, um, which I found to be very solid. Uh, I was on a Felt B2, a, a, tri a time trial bike, before this one that had Dura Ace, and before that I had an older specialized bike uh, that had Dura Ace as well. And, and I was a big fan of Dura Ace and I was really concerned about moving to the Ultegra. It's a little bit heavier. I'm not such a weight weenie, so it's not such an issue for me. But I've been very impressed with how solid this group is. It does really well under pressure. I can shift, um, you know, without any issues going uphill, uh, which is a good thing to have around here in Scottsdale, in particular with some of the group rides that I do. Um, so, likes and dislikes about this bike. The, the two things that I don't like about it, and I think they're related items. The, the first one is, it's a hair small for me. I'm 5'9", it's a 51 uh, centimeter frame, probably better suited towards a 52. It feels a little bit squirrely, which is the other thing that I don't like about it. I've gotten used to that. When I first got it, it felt really squirrely, and that, that may just have been coming off of a couple of years of riding a time trial bike in triathlons where I was doing a lot of flat, straight rides, not so much hill climbing, not so much riding in the pack. And it may just be related to that. It, it, I haven't noticed it as much as when I first got the bike, but it really felt a little squirrely. And I think that may be due to the frame size, probably better suited towards a 52. Um, short of that, I have very, very few complaints about this bike. When I first got it, I really kept stopping to check the tire pressure because I was sure that I had a flat. Uh, it's extremely smooth. It does not have the really, really narrow, thin chain stays that the S3 has, but I haven't found that to be an issue. It's really super comfortable to ride and, uh, you know, on all sort of trains. The other thing I really like about it is it's really, really slippery. You can see this big down tube, and if I were to shoot it from this direction, you'd be able to see how aerodynamic that is. Uh, I still do race some triathlons. Uh, it's not a major focus for me, um, mainly into cycling these days. But this bike is really, really flexible. I have um, some clamp-on aero bars that I put on to do triathlons with this bike. Uh, some aero wheels that I'll put on there as well for, for racing. For the most part, I found it super, super versatile. Uh, very, very slippery on the flats. Um, and with the aero bars, you know, again, it becomes a real nice aerodynamic situation. And then also uh, really, really good, just competent bike in the pack, uh, as well as on climbs. So that's the basics on the S2. Let's look at a few specifics. So uh, moving up front, we have here the Polar CS200 computer that I have on here. Um, you know, it's got speed, cadence, heart rate all of which I find very, very useful. In particular, the heart rate has been, uh, I, I mean, I think that's just, for me, an essential uh, for any sort of training. I found the heart rate monitor to be really, really accurate and um, gives you good data. You know, it's not it's not as cool as one of the Garmin's um, with the GPS in there or anything, but, you know, it definitely gets the job done. The bar tape here is uh, lizard skins tape. 
And this is the best tape I've really found. I mean, this stuff is super, super tacky. It's really durable. Um, I've had it on there for probably eight months now. And you could barely tell. I mean, it looks brand new. Uh, I mean, it's got a little bit of discoloration. But again, we're talking about white tape. I've never had uh, regular cork tape last that long. Here's the Ultegra uh, shifters. See, um, the you know good solid lever, nice and big, um, good for hand position and everything. Really, really happy with all that. Um, you can see this this down tube here, sort of how big it is, and it comes. Cervello does this teardrop shape where it's wider at the bottom and then narrow at the top, and you know it's supposed to be sort of more aerodynamic situation. Again, you know, pretty straightforward. I'll take her drivetrain. Um, nothing too fancy here. Fulcrum wheels. This is pretty stock at this point. Um, I don't think it's going to really stay <laughs> very stock for very long. But uh, for right now, it's uh, it's been a really, really fun bike to ride. And I've really enjoyed it. And there is my Cervelo S2, my biggest tip for you. Make sure you just get fitted for it, and if you if you feel like the frame is a little bit too big or a little bit too small, maybe look at something else, because um, I think that would be my only complaint with it. It's just maybe a little bit too small for me, and that makes it a little squirrely. But other than that, i got to say, I love my ride.